Hi Taurus, thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get started with your general. This is only for the ones that need it right now. It's not going to resonate with everybody. It's not a personal reading, it's a general. So this can also be a prediction. So who knows? Let's see. What do we have for Taurus, you guys? What do we have for Taurus? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? Mm, okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, and if you just want your connection reading, you can just go to the next reading. Um, you can skip over to the love connection reading. So we have bounce. <laughs> Somebody's leaving a situation or a person. It's time to leave it all behind. Leaving fast, wrap it up. Slut shaming, hmm. Express your sexuality, shaming, feeling judged, double standards, casual sex. Ooh, okay. So, someone shaming you? Or is, let's see, let's get into it. Are you having something casual and you feel kind of ashamed of it? Give me more of Taurus. Why is balance here? Why is balance here for Taurus? Okay, so you're spending more time, you know. I feel like you're putting your energy in... Um, you're valuing your time i'm getting here also you're putting your time in your friends your connections you're making new connections you could be making connections with someone here for with other people or you're learning about new people here like you've left a situation and you're putting your con your energy into something else that kind of like could be, of course, people, your friends. But what is this slut shaming? I feel like you're just keeping it cool right now. With the Page of Pentacles, it's nothing. I don't know. Maybe you're leaving a situation, or you're leaving a friend, of, a group of friends, or just. Hmm. We'll look more. Let's see. Give me more of this slut shaming, which is weird. <laughs> It's the first time I see this card. Okay, so you could be feeling judged right now by others, I feel. Yeah, it's interesting. You could be feeling judged by someone here. and Or you're needing to just... move away from people that kind of make you feel this way you're probably just doing your own thing you're going back and forth not knowing if what you should do probably doing what you're needing to do but i feel like you're very confident here you're victorious you're moving forward i don't sense any I feel like you're just not feeling comfortable with yourself maybe you've been juggling you know talking to others here and there and you're afraid that somebody's gonna judge you for it um that's what i'm getting here but i feel like your guidance is to just be confident in yourself i don't see anything bad here i feel like you're just leaving a situation and you're afraid to being judged let's get more for taurus spirit guides give me some more energy what do they need to know Why this energy spirit? What's your target? Okay, so let's see. 
What's your target? You might not know exactly what you want in life or in someone. Shooting aimlessly, hoping something sticks. Define what it is that you want before taking aim and fire away. So what's your target? Maybe you don't know right now. That's why you're going back and forth of what, what you should do or if you should move forward you're, or you're afraid that you're going to be judged by going towards something that you really want or you're just go, you're just faking it. <laughs> you know, um, what is it? Not faking it. Fake it till you make it kind of thing. You're taking that strategy, but you don't even know where you're going. Hmm. Or you might even be thinking about leaving a situation or not as well. We have fear. Fears are holding you back, becoming so used to them that you don't even realize they exist. Clinging to your fears can dampen your success. Stay open and receptive. Miracles will come. So be open. Don't let fear hold you back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fear of being judged or something. Mm -mm. And you know, I kind of feel like some... I feel it because, come on, I, I feel energy. I kind of feel like some of my subscribers or people that come to me with um, their readings i feel like they fear coming to me like if i'm gonna judge them i feel like it could be something like that um i don't judge i seriously everybody has gone through their own journey i've gone through mine i've gone through so much shit but you know it's your journey your journey alone and i feel like this is what your message is it's your journey you need to have a, str a strategy a target what is it that you really know want and you have to be clear with the universe what is it that you want okay you can't just just go about your life not knowing where you're going <laughs> you know like you have to have some goals what is it that you love your passions and don't be ju and don't be afraid that people are going to judge you you're going to find a new tribe that way you're going to find the people that you really do connect with maybe you don't know if you should leave a situation because then you'll be judged for something. This is for someone very specific. So it might, it's not going to resonate with everybody. Let's see. Let's get some more. Let's see. Advice. Advice for Taurus. Taurus, I feel like you're going to come into some fruits of your labor here if you go towards something you're gonna reach victory i don't know what you're thinking about but i that's what i'm feeling see challenge yourself challenge yourself to do better don't set limits on your p potential and setting limits could be this fear could be um people judging you shaming you for what you're doing Cut the screen time, <laughs> okay? Put the phone down, turn off the TV and computer and get active. So maybe you need to challenge yourself, go out there and do something about whatever you're, you're going back and forth with or get out there and do what you need to. Mm -hmm. That's what I have for you. Very general, but specific at the same time. It's interesting. So this might not be for everybody. It's probably for one person, but that is what I have. I hope this feels like it resonated or it helped you in some way. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much. And take care of you. Bye. Hi, Taurus. Welcome back if you're coming from the general. Uh, let's get started with your energy in this connection. And a reminder, it's not a personal reading, it's a general reading, and the rules can be reversed because the goal is to get some insight and advice. Let's see. Taurus in this connection.
Okay, that's what I was just getting with the friendship. So we have friendship. Hmm. Okay, so we have friendship in a sense. This person really triggers the inner child within you. There's a lot of playfulness, a lot of teasing, maybe puppy love. Um, and you really prioritize this friendship with this person, like this bond is not just physical it is physical it's probably the best you ever had but that's what we have here for some of you for those of you you're just learning about yourself your sexuality or you're very confused about this if it's chemistry or love you haven't told this person that though let's see what's the root of the problem here for taurus dishonesty hmm so maybe maybe they lie to get what they want from you maybe they lie or you just don't have trust in them okay or they don't reveal their true feelings and that is a big problem for you secret affair Ugh. or maybe they just don't you don't go out you hardly go out in public with them that is a also a problem for you or you haven't met their friends you haven't been posted or you know they haven't given you that um label kind of thing let's see what is what are their thoughts here what are their thoughts issues was doesn't Taurus know? How does Taurus see them? Spirit lines. Okay. Okay. Wow, this person is at a halt. So their issue is that they're trying to contemplate if they should come in or not. They don't want rejection. Or maybe you've rejected them already before. <laughs> or made them feel rejection. Uh, friendship is at the bottom of the deck. So I have friendship twice here. They're on their side, of course, here. And friendship. So it's like you both had this connection beyond just physical Mm hmm somebody here wants to come in with this this question can we be friends and build from there but it's really hard for them because this is at the root of their problem they want to come in but they're at a standstill you see the horse is just standing there i can't wait any longer i'm making a move so it's like they want to make the rule the move but it's at the root of their problem is that they can't for some reason it's you see them as detached maybe because they're not moving we have contemplation i've been thinking a lot about us tell me do you think of me too and then we have of course it says i'm emotionally closed off so i don't feel my past wounds maybe they have a past wound regarding a situation where they were rejected or something here happened where you made them feel rejected or not wanted because it could be anything you know you could have i don't know people take rejection as how do i say um if you didn't um if you left them on red that's a feeling of rejection like there there's like a lot of sensitivity a lot of things around this rejection feeling so it could have been anything your rejection has been a catalyst for change or you could have just said no i don't want this no more already but yeah you feel like maybe they're being dishonest or they're not just being true with their feelings or they won't say what they're feeling because they're you see them as being very detached from you let's see give me more of this friendship okay 
so i feel like you have been putting a lot of energy and time into this um bond with them probably did a lot or you're probably thinking a lot you're coming on strong on your side so i feel like you've been working or you've been waiting actually but you see like there is just i don't know if you're trying to distract yourself here while you wait for this person or it kind of seems like yeah like you're going towards your new beginning you're trying to work on yourself there is you getting back in your power getting back your power here your happiness that's what i'm saying maybe you feel you're joyous to when you're with them or you're remembering this kind of seems like you're waiting for this the seven of pentacles with the sun you're waiting for this person to maybe come and make you happy because you felt happiness here you really do prioritize them like you would leave your friends just to be with them that's the kind of feeling i'm getting okay so i hope if that doesn't resonate i'm sorry but that is what i'm getting give me more of this innocence Yeah, I feel like you are looking at things and wanting to work on them. You're like thinking about all these things. And, and I don't know if you're working on your healing, maybe some wounds. But this is how they're seeing you as well. So it kind of seems like they are also thinking about you. I feel like both of you are thinking about each other. I don't know why. But they're seeing you as somebody that is willing to work on this. Um, they do see you as, you know, very playful, very like a, a teasing kind of person willing to work on this. Hmm. But they're thinking about you. This is them thinking. This is you willing to work on it. So give me more of this best ever. Yeah. You're coming strong, Taurus. Okay, so there is some blockage here with this person. I feel like you have taken your power back. But somehow... You're on the defensive. You're on the defensive because you don't know if this is something that you really like. Your the chemistry is so confusing. You don't know if it's chemistry or love here, and you're probably kind of blocking this because you don't even know, you know, if it is love. And you're, I feel like you're waiting. Because you see this, Taurus? This is you. You're looking back. You took your power back, but it kind of seems like you're still looking back to see. You're trying to master your own emotions here with the King of Chalices. There is some kind of blockage energy being blocked here in with your relationships. Mm -hmm. some kind of blockage emotionally blocked why is the seven of wands here give me more on the seven of wands for Taurus mm -hmm. you're trying to have patience with this but I feel like for some reason there is some kind of blockage where the blockage is your self-confidence here because it is you here best ever learning about your sex sexuality or learning about yourself that you're needing to heal something within you and learn your value here so maybe this is what you're doing already but i feel like you're blocking from learning what you need to do to master your emotions to get to the empress to the empress status you know 
I feel like maybe you're already learning or you're needing to learn this because you're blocking yourself. Once you start learning that you don't need someone here to make you feel like the empress or the emperor, that's when that blockage will fall off. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're learning to take your power back, your energy back. Give me more of this dishonesty. Sorry if I confused you, um, but I, I hope I made it clear. Okay, dishonesty. So you're looking at this person like, wow, why did you do this? Why did you act that way? You, act, you acted so foolishly. You've hurt me. And you're trying to overcome this. You're trying to... You're probably even willing to turn things around with this person. Mm-hmm. let's see and that's kind of a problem for you like how can i still be willing to turn things around or maybe you're just having a hard time you know um overcoming your own feelings here or trying to turn things around with this person oh why is contemplation here for this for Taurus's this person so they're contemplating of if you should if they should come back, look at that. If they should take action. They don't know if you're still thinking about them. Give me more of this detached. Okay, so there was some kind of rejection. I don't know if maybe... Interesting. The fire never really grabs my attention, but it's grabbing my attention right now. Um, there was some, some kind of wedge that was put in, in between you two. It kind of caused them to feel kind of rejected. Um, so it kind of seems like they have a boundary there and they feel bad about it because we have here, um, disappointments, guilt here as well with the rejection again. So I don't know if something here ha happened. Maybe both of you tried to work something out and, it just didn't end it it didn't someone was just it wasn't clicking between you two for some reason it was like somebody tried to work something out but somebody put a like wall there like boundary and said no and it caused heartbreak on both of you and it kind of seemed made it seem when that person said no kind of made it seem like they were just emotionally detached or they were shutting down on you give me more on this rejection yeah see they're turning their back on this they're holding off and they're coming off like they're just focused on themselves doing what they need to do probably even saving money paying bills mm, they could probably also be having some kind of um low self-esteem low confidence right now probably even drinking or indulging in toxic things but i feel like they are kind of more invested in in themselves right now and their own stability their own security right now because of four of pentacles with the two of pentacles they've and it kind of seems like they're trying to just put their energy somewhere else and not think about this rejection or whatever came up between you both give me more of this rushing in so see they want to rush in with the new beginning and heal the situation look at that but they won't why maybe some of them also are going through some healing but they're wanting to start all over in you Okay, let's see if we get any um, any ad, uh, time predictions or any other messages here for Taurus and the person that they're thinking about. Oh, actually, sorry, I need to get what they're thinking. Some more thoughts here for this person's thoughts regarding Taurus, Spirit Guides.
okay so we have i'm sorry my jealousy gets the best of me i get territorial over you i want you uh, to myself <laughs> for some of you of course jealousy is a problem I'm angry at you, but I still love you. Give me time to heal. So they're angry, but they need time to heal. Well, I had already said that. that Some of them are probably healing from this too. I've never been in love before until I met you. It was love at first sight. So this person does have love for you. Okay, so let's see if there's any time predictions here for Taurus spirit guides. Any movement or any movement ahead <laughs> for Taurus and this person. Ooh, that one just came out. Bide your time. So that's what we're getting for that. Bide your time. Okay why this give me more on this why is bide your time here mm. yeah sorry Taurus. i had an alarm um anyways these two cards came out um an alarm came on so that i forgot i put <laughs> put on so on my phone so i started ringing we have bite your time so i don't know if they're waiting i feel like it's them here waiting on divine timing or waiting for the right time to come back around something here could be stopping them coming back around to clear the air with you okay so could be that it could be you maybe you're needing to wait for the right opportunity the right time to do something towards you know to go towards them but i don't know why i feel like it's could be just them oh let me get you some advice advice for taurus advice for taurus i hope i'm recording yeah advice for taurus sorry that was another alarm <laughs> sorry uh, advice for taurus and this connect in this connection spirit guides focus on happiness see there is something here that you need to focus on you have the kind of life they admire the more passion you have the more exciting your world will be you can't enjoy dating if your life is boring. Again, have your own life, okay? Maybe you're already there, but there is some kind of blockage still there that you're probably, you probably even blocked them already or you're a little bit on the defensive side. Let that, let that go and focus your energy in more pro, doing something more that, doing something, creating something that makes your life more interesting. Because, uh, how do I say it? Um, yesterday I was actually listening to this video, this podcast, saying the more you want something, the more you create resistance towards it. So it's like, mm, you're just repelling something here. That's what I feel this is. I don't know if you still want them to come back around or if you're going to reject them again or you've, you've already rejected them. But working on yourself creating your own happiness here is what's needed and you're probably already doing that for some of you but you know so that's good that's your advice there okay so i hope this feels like it resonated thank you so much i am so sorry for the interruptions we have leo taurus it could be another taurus a libra sag leo scorpio earth sign sag air Aquarius, water, earth, Scorpio, fire, earth, air, Aquarius. 
that is what i have thank you so very much again please like share and subscribe if this really resonated and take care of you mm, bye